All right, Slayers, we have an emergency. There's a Blue Jay stuck in the pond right now. Yeah. All right, Slayers, we have an emergency. We went ahead and we're just feeding the crawfish pond. And look right here, guys. Look, Lily, can you help me out? There's a Blue Jay stuck in the pond right now. Yes. All right, hopefully it doesn't do anything. Oh my God, oh, it's a baby Blue Jay. Buddy. It's a baby Blue Jay. Oh my, my God. God. What's going on? It got mangled by a cat. My heart. Look at that, it got mangled by a cat. Oh Hold on, let me light a little bit. Guys, we're just out here just trying to go ahead and feed our guys. And Lily said, oh my God, is there a bird in the pond? I'm like, what are you talking about? Look, there's a baby blue jay right now in the pond. We need to go ahead and try to nurse this baby to health. So, oh my gosh, what do we even do? I don't know, but that's my favorite kind of bird. Oh my God, it's my favorite bird. Catch them all fishing actually had a small bougie back in the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him a call and see if he can help me out and nurse this baby back to health because she is totally exposed. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Poor thing. She, oh my God, she got mangled. Look. Her feathers are missing and everything. She's holding on to me and cuddling. Look. Oh my God. She's wrecked. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna call Catch Them All Fishing, talk to Blexi's Adam Rowan. See what we can do to nurse this baby blue jay back to health. Oh, blue. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna see what my mom says, hold on. I just went ahead and signaled my mom. Let's see what she says. We're gonna see if we can keep it here. If not, we're gonna go ahead and take it back to my apartment. Look at this. Look, come, come, come. Look at this, mom. So we went ahead and we're feeding the crawfish and we found a baby blue jay in there. It's so frigid, it's holding on to me. Oh, it's so sad. Look, uh, it got plucked and everything. My heart. It had to be a cat. There's a cat around here. Yeah, can we keep it? Sure. Can we keep it here or should I keep uh, it at my place? Your place will Mar be nice. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? You have to come visit your grandkid. We gotta take care of this. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, so Lily's gonna drive and everything. We're heading to my place and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with Let the baby blue jay. A towel? A towel? Let me give you a towel yeah. so you can wrap it. Perfect. All right, go oh. ahead. Oh, she's so. He He's or so she hurt. is so hurt. Look, it's so frigid. I genuinely want to cry right now. Yeah, this is probably going to be the best place, though, in the screened-in enclosure for her to be able to fly around. We might actually keep it here when she gets warm because the screened-in enclosure will work out so she can fly around, Mom. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, it, 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 well, she won't hit everything. She'll hang out. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, my poor gosh. Baby. Poor baby. Oh, my God. Can you open it up? He, she won't let go of me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Poor so baby. Look, she's shaking. He or oh she's shaking. No. Oh, all right. We're going to nurse this buddy back to health. We might. Well, there's a couple of stores we can go ahead and figure something out. I just want to take care of it to make sure. Like, I'll know I take care of it versus maybe other people. And then you can let her. Yeah, and then she will she'll, we'll release her back into the yes. wild. So, yes. but. This is our pet now. That's crazy. All right, love you, mom. I'm out of here. Too. See you later. Bye. Bye, mama. Bye, Max. Bye, Max. Bye, Max. Max. Look, see, Max, are you okay? Oh. He's even sad too. <laughs> All right, we're heading out. I wanted to show you what I have here is just a whole bunch of crawfish and everything, and our baby bird right here just fell right here. So I think she felt safe because there's that really wild evil cat coming around and just raining terror on all the baby ducks and everything like that. So she probably hopped in here thinking it would be safe and she's wet. She got wet and she couldn't fly away. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and nurture and everything. This is out of this world. I check my animals every day when I come back from my place. And that was if it wasn't sad. for Lily, this is all Lily. If it wasn't for you, babe, and you noticing this, like who knows, this baby bird could have died in there. I know. All right, baby blue, hold on, guys. He is very cold. I'm trying to keep him warm. I got Lily driving. Look at her driving in the truck. You look good in the truck, girl. Thank you. But uh, how you doing there, kiddo? We're going to get you back to health. We're going to go ahead and see everybody. Get Black's Exotic Animal Ranch to come by the place. Check you out. We're heading to Beverly Hills as well to get all of our needs. I'll be okay. You're going to be okay. Oh, my gosh. So I can't believe it. I can't believe that happened. That was really scary. I know. Hey, baby blue. How you doing? Feeling better, nice and warm. We got some towels and everything, a little enclosure right now. But I'm here with Lakes Exotic Animal Ranch. What's, What's going on? on? What's going on, bro? And oh, oh, she's fine. And she pooped. Yep. He's almost ready. I think the problem is, is what happened, to be honest, Yeah. is that 
It was getting ready to start flying. Just like that, yeah. Like that. Yeah. See? Baby. He is exploring now his nest. So that's what he was doing. And his mother was still feeding him. But he fell into the pool, like you said, right? Yeah, he fell into the crawfish pond. So he's doing good. How you doing? But he probably needs a little bit more food we, because he's not going to survive on his own yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, girl. He's still young. Super young. So we're probably going to have to keep her here in this place. We're going to have to pick up all that poop you're leaving around, little guy. But it looks good. It's literally a baby blue jay. Yeah, exactly. So I guess you're going to live in here. We're going to feed you and everything. Uh, you want to go to Beverly's and get some stuff? Yeah, we get some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. I appreciate it. All right, Slayer. So I'm here with Greg. We're at Beverly's Pet Center. And he's going to go ahead and help us get everything we need for Jay, the baby blue that went ahead and fell into our pond. So what are we going to get today? Uh, we're going to start with monkey chow. Monkey chow. Sure. Monkey chow. Monkey chow. A real good formula for almost all baby animals. Really? Oh, yeah, it is. Soak it, soak it in water. Oh, wow. So it turns mushy and then okay. it's kind of warm. Okay. Uh, we have to do it in hot water? Yeah, if you soak it, it'll blow up like a sponge. It oh, okay. takes the water in. Okay. We we'll get a lot of primate chow. So I just do what, like three or four pellets? And then yeah, I'll probably, actually, I'll probably take one at a time. At least get water in, they're going to blow up. Like really that? Big. And then one in time and the mealworms. Okay. The mealworms are going to be more natural. Okay, that works too. And then we just do it a spoon or a toothpick or something. Uh, and a, spoon, a, spoon. a spoon. We usually bend the spoon, which is tough. Bend it around so it's like a funnel. And then when he bangs it, it'll slide down the spoon. Oh, okay. That works. Sweet. So we're going to get everything we need, get a whole bunch of mealworms. And then I'll meet you at the house to feed our baby Blue Jay. So we have everything we need in regards to feed Jay. Now we need to go ahead and get him a shelter. He's currently wrapped up in a nice towel, getting all warm. He's in one of my boxes at home because I'm still in the process of moving. So what I was thinking is ah, we use one of the big bruh trash cans here so that if he does try to fly away, he doesn't hurt himself because this is kind of like rubbery versus getting hit like in a wall or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is load this thing up right now with a whole bunch of newspaper as well. We won't put a lid so that there's a lot of air and circulation going through. But yeah, this is gonna be Jay's home newspaper everything it's gonna be absolutely perfect so we're gonna grab everything we need and i'll meet you back at my place all right slayers so we have everything we need right here let's go ahead and check on jay i have him in a box on this side he's not here jay hello okay jay's not in here for his public <laughs> oh there's jay oh my god he looks good hello he looks good i guess he's not mingled hi jay I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's doing good there. Yeah. Um, try, we can't be showing any of this, so we gotta look this way. There's a big mess, so excuse the mess. But we gotta get Jay down. Somehow. Hmm. And we gotta do that. Well, he looks good though. Wait, wait. On a serious note, he looks good. So that means he must have flown or hopped his way up there. So that's great news. So come on, Jay. I have your home here. Come on, buddy. Come, baby. He's like, what the heck? <laughs> so we're probably going to go ahead and try to nurse him for about a couple weeks and stuff. Get him to eat and everything. I'm going to show you guys how to feed your bird if you want to rescue a bird. But uh, give me a few moments. I'm going to try to get him down and put him in his new enclosure. So while Jay is still up there in my garage, I went ahead and I cut some newspaper and some ads. So this is his bedding. This is perfect enough for my trash can. So good night. So we can go ahead and stay right here, be nice and warm. And it's perfect so that when I go ahead and feed him and give him like a little plate of food, it'd be perfect. So I just want to show you guys how he's doing. So just give me a few moments as I get him down. Hey guys, so he actually ended up coming down. It took a while, like an hour before he got comfortable and everything to be around. But look, he wants to eat. This is what happened. You put him right there and he eats and he eats and he just puts his throat down. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of Jay. Jay or little baby blue Jay. We saved him. And he's like probably, honestly, a little older than a baby, a couple more weeks, and we'll be good to go. So as we saw that, he went ahead and was able to fly up, and he's, he's flying, but he keeps like falling down, so he's still not ready to go ahead and be released. We're gonna go ahead and nurture this beautiful baby blue jay, and eventually release him back into the wild. Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Booyah.